afternoon, everyone. Just the time to get uh, the key. Uh, again, thank you very much, Tony. Thank you for inviting us, and this is a great platform. Really, I had the pleasure to see my friends, which I have not seen for a few years. And then definitely it's, it's a great, great event and great uh, uh, moment to uh, together with all the telcos and then industry level. So the, the topic I'm going to take you through is the 5G advanced. The 5G advanced technology is the 5.5, I would say. It's a halfway to the 6G. Within less than four years, the telcos managed to roll out 5G, to roll out 5GSA, and do for the first in the world, build a home of the future, few minutes from here in Jumeirah Gulf Estate for the people who knows Dubai. So the FWA 5G advanced, fully equipped a home, which we name it the home of the future. It's impressive how fast the, uh, 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 the telecom industry is evolving and how technology is evolving. I was impressed by the experience in this home of the future where I can go to the gaming room and I can have 3D uh, uh, screen without having any glasses and then try to play a game. I can watch and stream 8K HD uh, video with a 360 degree. So it's, it's just amazing experience and it's always how we can enhance and improve and take the customer experience to the next level. The FWA is definitely the most mature 5G use case which is helping the telcos today to monetize their 5G. So as per Ericsson, we believe, and they, those are the statistics, 25% of the entire traffic or mobile traffic will be uh, driven by the FWA in the next five years. We also believe that as we speak today, there are 120 million FWA customers. So this number will grow to 300 million in the next five years by 2028. So the, when you do a micro segmentation of the markets and you try to find the use cases and then what really this FWA is solving as, as an issue. Definitely the first one comes is to the connecting the unconnected. And we have heard this morning, 2.6 billion people are not connected as we speak today. So I think the fixed wireless access is definitely helping us to get uh, to the unconnected areas where the fiber is not yet uh, 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 there and making sure that we can provide connectivity to, to the customer. Definitely it's flexible and affordable. What does it mean? It means that it's plug and play. You don't need really a technician to come. This fixed wireless access, it's, it's uh, really uh, uh, easy to implement. It's plug and play and it's also, you can, uh, uh, you can move it to get the right area with the right signal and the right uh, and the best experience. So for the startups, and imagine photographer as, as a use case in the middle of the desert. They want to be connected in real time and they want really to, uh, uh, to take the best pictures and the best videos. So the FWA today is helping those type of businesses, retail in, in more remote area. It's also those type of businesses which are today are becoming more mature use cases, helping us to uh, definitely get more insights and then and, and providing a great experience. The 5G list line is another one, which is uh, uh, going to become a backup for the fiber and then for the large enterprises and also small and medium businesses. So the FWA today is really helping to solve certain uh, 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 issues and certain gaps in the market and definitely providing a great monetization to the telcos. But there are two challenges. So the number one challenge when we talk about 5G, 
We talk about so many use cases, IoT, machine to machine, FWA, mobile uh, uh, users. And here, you don't have a kind of an unlimited capacity. You need really to make sure that you manage your network in a way that you can segregate and you can provide the best experience for every single use case. But this is one of the challenges most of the telcos are facing today. The second one is when you live in an apartment, which is really in a building with, the, uh, I, I would say, in the high floor, the FWA today with the 5G coverage is uh, uh, showing, I would say, certain gaps and it uh, uh, needs certain improvement. So those are, if I can summarize, the two main challenges of the fixed wireless access technology based on the 5G. Two things are really driving do into this next step, which is the 5G advanced technology. Of course, our home today is the home where we relax, where we work, where we game. So it's becoming, I would say, so many type of use cases within the home and it's very demanding when it comes to connectivity and advanced technology in general. So this demand, when you add to it the ambition of the UAE, the ambition of the government to, to, to really reach almost, uh, 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 I would say, 20% of, of the GDP through a digital economy, I think both uh, 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 involving the, uh, the, 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 the need of the customer and at the same time the ambition of, of the country are both really uh, pushing us to innovate and make sure that we can come up with a new advanced technology and this is where we have tried to build our pilots in, in, in this home of the future and making sure that we can provide a, a much better experience than what we have today. So 5G advanced. So it's definitely going to come with a better latency and we believe more on this technology to really provide a, a, a high speed and, and the best, best experience, better SLAs, and of course the symmetrical traffic upload and download. So this 5G advanced technology will take the FWA as we believe on the, to the next segment, which is more the high-end segment. High-end segment means more premium experience and more sophisticated use cases. I'm going to share with you just a, a short video about our the home of the future, which we, we put uh, uh, and we implement in the uh, Jumeirah Gulf Estate. This is in a partnership with uh, Huawei. And as you can see here, this is more a gaming, a gaming area where we uh, really try to play in a 3D uh, uh, experience without any uh, uh, glasses, VR or AR. And then we have tried to make sure that also uh, to challenge any experience at home with uh, video streaming and then also when it comes to the latency and the speed and all of that is based on the fixed wireless access, 5G advanced. So just my last slide, it's really running fast. And we are all proud in the telecom industry that we have been through a, a, a really a great journey where we roll out already almost 99% of our populated area in the UAE. And then most of the, the telcos who are already in this rollout since 2019 have achieved a great milestone. So 5GSA, which is also a, a great milestone of most of the telcos in, in, in the world, and do today is really announcing their 5G advanced, which is in a pilot mode, and we are planning to, to launch it commercially in the coming months. Of course, this is a halfway to the 6G, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.